critical view of teachers' action plan or remedial plan and how the outcome of the assessment can be linked to student classroom profiling. The teacher's action plan is a well-planned resource that provides support to monitor changes and process of objectives and goals in the classroom. The teacher's action plan and data sheet shows that there are 18 pupils in the classroom. Each pupil was given a chance to do the reading assignment that focuses on passage reading. That contains the pupil performances that gives the range from zero to one, means the pupils understands the concept. Two means the pupils understands part of the concept. And three means the pupil did not understand the concept. The passage reading in the action plan focuses on three main parts, which are instructional reading level, reading fluency, and reading comprehension. The data has been shown that for instructional reading level, three pupils just grasp the concept, six pupils understand part of the concept, and nine pupils did not understand the concept. Secondly, for reading fluency, seven pupils understand the concept. Four pupils understand part of the concept, while seven pupils did not understand the concept. And finally, for reading comprehension, one pupil grasped the concept, 10 pupils understand part of the concept, while well, seven pupils did not understand the concept of on the reading assessment. In order for the teacher to improve the learner's reading skills, the teacher should create better activities that will encourage or capture the learner's interest. For example, the teacher could have used a picture book. According to EBSCO picture books, help promote literacy and vocabulary skills. Picture books are an important part of learning how to read. It helps the learners to build language skills, their visual thinking, and it also encourages them to interact with the teacher. Secondly, the teacher use share reading. Shared reading establishes an enjoyable and supportive context for reading. It allows all students to participate as readers in a classroom with diverse literacy needs. Shared reading also provides struggling readers with the necessary support, enhances sightward knowledge, and builds reading fluency. Shared reading gradually releases responsibility for individual reading to the student. Research shown that reading allowed improves comprehension. Duke and Pearson, 2008. Vocabulary, Massaro, 2017, and Fluency, Trellis, 2001. Read aloud allow the teacher to model expert fluent reading of the text. This liberates the students from having to do the work of decoding and allows them to focus on comprehension, acquisition of new vocabulary, phonemic awareness, etc. The outcome of the assessment, even though this is a benefit to teachers with regards to student profiling, it is, us, it is our view when we put students into categories, got it, approaching and not yet, it sends a signal that to students, some students might handle it well, such as they got it, who we consider to be the high flyers. But the not yet students 
who we term as low learners, slow learners, may think this as being stigmatization or segregation. And this can lead to poor academic performance. According to research done and presented on November 16, 2021 by the US Department of Education, and I quote, school segregation has a profound effect on student outcomes. 